Hello, and thank you for joining me on this wonderful, wonderful 5th of July. I was going to continue my adventures in that, but unfortunately I can't seem to locate the game. So, to get my streaming urges out of the way, I'm going to play Unwritten Tales 2, which is uh, point and click, kind of like the old... Uh, uh, Space Ace and um, a couple of others, but they're all point and click, but it's uh, turned out to be very funny. I've already played a little bit of the game, but I'm going to start from the beginning, just in case anybody's curious. So, um, thanks for joining Mr. King's Tales from the Coop, and um, let's get the show on the road. I didn't get that far in my original game, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh... raged through all Aventasia. The alliance of humans, elves, and dwarves fought against the evil army of the Shadows. The war had devastated the country for years upon years, and yet, no one gained the advantage. And so it was that in that time of deepest despair, that an old archaeologist uncovered the location of the artifact of the Grand Gate. It's Dobby! The artifact could fulfill every wish. And thus decide the war, for one side or the other. Okay. Led by warlock Monkus, son of Monkus. Archwitch Mortroga, the shadows hunted for the artifact. And they would have reached it first, were it not for a group of heroes who stood against him. Wilbur, the young gnome who was the first of his clan to become a mage. Ivo, the courageous elven princess from the woodland realm. And the critter, a hairy creature from the Northlands. Companion of the most brilliant of the heroes, Nate Bonnet, who was supposed to spend the rest of his life at the side of an elven princess, who deserved a kingdom and all the riches in the world, who should stop wasting time talking about himself in the third person. When I wonder why. <laughs> ah! All right. Music is completely epic in this game. I love it. Um, right now, it's just kind of a tutorial stage, so I'm just gonna kind of follow what it wants me to do. Good, good. This is good. Although the ground is still getting closer. Climbing up. Part of the jetty. At least some of it survived the explosion. Ooh, a rope. If I'm lucky, this will go all the way up to the island. <laughs> but somehow I really doubt it will. Suspiciously looks like a certain lamp to a certain Disney movie. Oh, hi, Nate. How's it going? Good. For now. Could it be that your spell didn't quite work out the way you planned? I did tell you there were certain risks involved. I could use some help here, Benny. Well, you did see what happened last time I cast a spell. Time to make up for it, then. Now shake a leg! Oh, I don't know. I might just end up making everything worse. Uh, worse? Not time or gravity. I'm gonna go to sleep. Let me see. I'm accompanying tons of boulders in a plummet to certain painful death. My death! So just how do you think you could make things any worse? Worse? I could set the air on fire, That's or it bad. could start smelling very bad. 
Can't you just stop time? Or wings! Give me wings! How about that? Oh, this is all terribly complicated. I really don't feel up to it today, Nate. Benny! Perhaps tomorrow? I really do need to think through what's happened today properly. You get me out of the mess you got us into right now! Please don't yell at me! I just can't take it anymore! Benny! Ah! If stay easy, we can forget about miracles. I gotta find something easy, something even he thinks he can do. Oh, the carpet. I think I know what I can do. Take the carpet. A flying carpet. Is that too much to ask? I'm not talking to you. Why, you... Uh, I'm sorry I criticized your work, Benny. And? And? And that I shook your lamp. And everything else. You meant well. Well, all right, then. I forgive you. What can I do for you? Carpet! Hmm. A flying carpet. Shouldn't be too hard. Should I really dare? Am I really up to it? Yes. Oh. Yes! I can show you the world. Sorry, copyright infringement. What the heck? What happened here? Oh. No! Oh. Ow. Oh! It's the creature. Reading, writing, calculating. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Fans of Game of Thrones will definitely be happy to see this. What? Why to stop? Wally? Kind of looks like Wally with Johnny Five. Welcome, adventurer. I am the tutorial, guardian of gameplay, explainer of controls. Use the left stick to move the character. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's cute. A little something on my back. Looks like a battery. Alright. I moved the left stick. Now what? Well done. Thank you. If you walk up to an object, context-sensitive actions will be displayed. Walk up to that big lever and press X. Of course, every time I hear the word context, all I can think about is Conker's Bad Fur Day, where Beardy or Birdie, the Scarecrow, talks about context sensitive, which is sensitive to context. The robot has used the lever, as this seemed logical to him. Now press circle so that the robot looks at the lever rather than uses it. Is it lever or. <laughs> Excellent. The robot I thinks the lever is working. But if that's so, then where is the problem? That hatch over there, walk up to it and press X. Okay. Hatch. The little chap seems to think there are advanced engine mechanics hidden behind there. Perhaps that's where the problem is. Press X again. All right. First time you press X, why? Because after a player character has looked at something, the most logical thing to do next is use it. It's quite simple. Press circle. Is the machine working again? Yay! Back to epic opening. Oh, 
always that's adorable. It appears to be a new problem. Better take a closer look at the engine. <sighs> really? Alright. Oops. That wasn't very helpful. Please pick up both gears by pressing X. If you Oh, backpack. Great work. Items you pick up will go into your inventory. You open and close your inventory by pressing triangle. To use an inventory item, select it with X and then select Use one of the gears in your inventory with the engine of the town mall. All right. Large. Use it. Excellent. Simple enough. Perfect. You better oil the engine before you switch the machine back on again. Because, you know, engines need oil. That should do it. Time to crank it up. Going to the lever. Oh, all right, back to epic open. Examine objects in the inventory in more detail. Pick up, then open the inventory with trying. Alright. Mm. Okay. Ah. Oh, I know. Ah, great. You found a few items in the toolbox. You can use these. Try to repair the figure in... No. No. Why am I having so much trouble this time? Well done. Now place the figure back in its rightful place on the balcony of the castle and start the machine. one and where I can find it because if it's the same quality as this I'm very interested I'm worried about you 